Now we discuss fundamental theorem of Galois theory. So say we are given a Galois extension k over f and corresponding to it we have this Galois group that is group of automorphisms of k which fix f. So the first result is that the intermediate fields E between k and f are in one to one correspondence with subgroups of G. So this we have already shown in the lecture on Galois correspondence. So in the lecture on Galois correspondence we have shown this result and pictorially this is how it looks like so k corresponds to just the id map because only automorphisms of k which fix all of k are just id and corresponding to f the group is g so this group g as you can see fixes field f in automorphisms of k which fixes f so in this lecture we want to prove first this result so say you take an element sigma in g then a subgroup of G which fixes sigma of E is sigma then uh, this group of automorphisms of K which fix E and then sigma inverse. So we call this as say H. So we are calling this H because we already have this one to one correspondence right here. So say H is fixing E and corresponding to this fixed field E you have H. So you have this one to one correspondence. Now we are saying that you just pick up an element sigma and g, so corresponding to sigma and g, so you have some field sigma e. So corresponding to this field sigma e, we will have another subgroup which is just sigma h sigma inverse. And that's all we are saying. So corresponding to sigma e, you have sigma, this is h, this is the group of automorphisms of k which fix e sigma inverse. So this is how we are writing. So this is what we want to show. There is one to one correspondence. Sigma E to Sigma H Sigma inverse. Now this thing is same as um, fixed field Sigma of fixed field KH equals to this. So this you can uh, obviously see because so we are saying Sigma E is in one to one correspondence with Sigma H Sigma inverse but E corresponds to fixed field of H. So instead of sigma E, you can write sigma KH. And corresponding to this, what is the field? Now we already know the correspondence that if you are given H, the corresponding field is KH. So corresponding to this, you have K sigma H sigma inverse. So proving this is same as this. So we are not going to talk about this right now, but this will become useful later on once we have proved this result. So let us prove this result. So you start with the map, some map phi in G. So that is some element phi in G and say alpha in K. So phi alpha is equal to alpha if and only if, if you can put sigma on both sides. You put sigma here, you put sigma here. So this you copy as such right here this also you copy as such right here. So these two are exactly the same because notice that this sigma inverse and this sigma cancel out. So we have done nothing. We have just multiplied both sides by sigma. And this sigma is precisely this sigma we have taken. So this phi is just fixing alpha in K. So we are talking about these elements alpha in K which are fixed by this map phi. Phi alpha is equal to alpha. So this is getting fixed at first. So this is the equation we are starting with and then we are ending up with this equation here. So what are the elements getting fixed here? If you look at this subgroup H, this is precisely E. So instead of talking about elements fixed in uh, K, we can talk about the elements which are fixed at precisely this uh, sigma E. So now notice that this sigma alpha is fixed right here sigma alpha is fixed by this particular group. So sigma alpha is obviously fixed by group of automorphisms of K on which sigma E is fixed. So sigma alpha is fixed by this group. So what is this group? So we can read this group off from here. So you have sigma here. So now rather than talking about this K, we are talking about E. So because some elements of K are getting fixed E and we are in particular talking about the subgroup H. So phi alpha is equal to alpha and then we have the sigma alpha is getting fixed. And so what is this Galois group? 
So this Galois group which is fixing the sigma alpha is precisely this, you know, sigma alpha, notice sigma alpha is getting fixed, sigma alpha, sigma alpha after applying this map. So this sigma is coming here, this sigma inverse is coming here, and this phi is obviously restricted to this Galois group here because rather than now fixing k, we are talking about fixing e. So this is our h right here. So therefore you have the correspondence sigma e is in one to one correspondence with this group. So this is what we wanted to prove. So another property we want to prove is this. So say h is a normal subgroup of g. If and only if, the fixed field corresponding to H over F is Galois. So if this holds, we have this Galois E over F is uh, this factor group. So obviously H is normal, so you can talk about factor groups. So notice that this is a very powerful computational tool because we are talking about automorphisms of E which fix F. So automorphisms of E which fix F and you can immediately find out that this is just G over H if H is a normal subgroup here. So again, fixed field of H is E, which we are saying is writing as KH. So first working in this direction. So you're given that H is a normal subgroup of G. So by definition of normal subgroup, sigma H sigma inverse is equal to H. So for all sigma and G. So now we use this result, this will give you this. So left hand side remains as such. The right hand side is K sigma H sigma inverse. You use this equality and you get KH here. So now we can talk about automorphism maps. So you know that K lies over KH, which in turn lies over F. So G is nothing but automorphisms of K, which fix F. This is given to us. So you can restrict any automorphism here, sigma, to KH because this, um, you restricted it will still fix F. So you can have this restriction map here from here to here. So what is the kernel of this map? So kernel of this map is precisely those elements which get mapped to identity. So that the zero element of this is nothing but identity on KH. That is all those elements uh, which uh, act on KH and fix it. So automorphism is nothing but a group of elements. So all those elements of this group which act on KH and fix it. So this is nothing but the identity map. And what are the elements which fix KH? They are precisely H because H has the fixed field KH. So by definition, H fixes KH. So the kernel of this map, which is restricting this to identity map on KH is precisely H. So now G over kernel of phi, which we write as G over H because kernel is G over H, this is ISO to this group. So this is from the first isomorphism theorem for groups. So first isomorphism theorem for groups yields this result. Now, if this extension is Galois, if this is Galois, so we claim that this is Galois. So our claim is that this is Galois. Now, if this is Galois, then this result holds. This Galois KH over F is precisely G over H. This is what we wanted here. Where obviously E is the fixed field. So, um, so everything would be done nicely if we can show that this KH over F is Galois. Now, KH over F is Galois since F is of the form KH uh, G by H. So this we had shown before. So say you have, uh, you know, F is of the form, F is a fixed field corresponding to some intermediate field and some group here, then it is Galois. So some field here and some group here. And so this comes from a diagram. So this is the diagram we are talking about. So you can construct such a diagram. So F corresponds to this group G over H and this is kind of obvious because G is the Galois group which fixes F. So if you take this KH and then you have a uh, fixed uh, group of G over H, this will precisely be F. You can see from this diagram because 
anyway g is going to fix only those elements in kh which are f because it anyway fixes f here and kh is a subfield of k so this is of this form and therefore it is galois and we are done now we prove in the opposite direction so say e over f is a galois extension so e is of this form f alpha 1 alpha 2 all the way to alpha r you have joined some elements alpha and each of these alphas do you have a correspondence this alpha j is mj where mj is a irreducible polynomial over field f so it's a irreducible polynomial so you pick some sigma and g uh, in our uh, element of group of automorphisms then sigma alpha is a root of irreducible polynomial mi so this just permutes the root applying this group of automorphisms will just permute the roots because you, uh, the underlying field is f so the coefficients are going to remain fixed uh, it, uh, the only thing getting permuted is the roots because you have only adjoined roots to your equation so after you permute you still lie in e because e is precisely this and only uh, roots are getting permuted so thus sigma e is equal to e now if sigma e is equal to e from here you can see that uh, sigma h sigma inverse is equal to h which implies normality so this implies normality so again the sigma e corresponds to sigma h sigma inverse comes right here and we already know that h corresponds to e so you have one to one correspondence between h and e so this e corresponds to this h so this equality here in fields gets transferred to equality in groups which implies normality